Example six. After two years, three months of $357.93 monthly car payments of a four-year loan of 5.1%, Mackenzie wants to get rid of her gas guzzler car and get a hybrid car. What amount will pay off her car loan? Okay. Soon as you read this, you should immediately be thinking unpaid balance. Okay. So what's going on here is Mackenzie has this gas guzzler car. She's been making payments on the car. The car loan uh, was a four-year car loan. She's made the payments for two years and three months. Now she wants to get rid of this car. She has to pay off the loan. Okay. Um, so we're trying to figure out how much she still owes on the car. Okay. Um, notice you are not told how much the car or how much she purchased the car for. You do not need to know that. Okay. Um, the monthly payment has already been given to you. Okay. Um, if it hadn't been, you probably you would have to calculate it. Okay. All right. So this is an unpaid balance problem. Okay. So let me write that down. So for unpaid balance problems, okay, we have to use the present value of an annuity formula. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. So here's our formula. All right, so let's talk about what we know and what we need to find, okay? Um, remember with unpaid balance, okay? If Mackenzie wants to get rid of her car right now at the two year, three month mark, okay? We need to know how much she still owes. Okay, right now. Okay, so we're going to be looking for PV. Okay, she has been making monthly payments of $357.93. So that's the P value. Okay, um, the R value is 5.1%. Okay, so 0 0.051. Okay. M is 12 because she's making monthly payments. Okay, that coincides with how often the interest is compounded. All right, time is going to be the tricky part here. Remember, with unpaid balance, you have to use remaining time. Okay, so time has to be in years. Okay, so the loan was four years. Okay, um, and then you have to subtract out two years, three months. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the top and do this. Okay, so let's think about it this way. Okay, so four years, that's the total amount of the loan or how long the loan was. Okay, four years is 48 months. Okay, so then if we look at two years, three months. Okay, two years is 24 months. Okay, plus three months. Okay. So two years, three months is a total of 27 months. Okay. So you need to subtract out. If I do 48 minus 27, that's how many months are left on this loan. Okay. So that's 21 months remaining. Okay. So remember for time, you're not going to use 21 because that would imply 21 years. It's 21 months. So you need to do 21 over 12. Okay. That's what you're going to use for time. Okay. So let's go ahead and plug it all in. All right. So we will get this. All right, so here we go. Got to pop this in the calculator, okay? This is how you plug into it, okay? All right, so let's put it in the calculator. We're going to start inside the brackets, okay? We're going to do the numerator first because it is definitely more complicated than the denominator, okay? I'm trying to make sure you can see this. All right, um, so let's plug it in. We've got 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.051 divided by 12, okay, um, your exponent, okay, type it in like you see it, so it's going to be negative 12 times 21 over 12, okay, don't let that more complicated exponent get you, okay, all right, so there's the numerator, 
We're going to hit the division key so that we can divide by the denominator. So let's put the denominator in parentheses. Okay. This is what's in brackets. Okay. Now we need to multiply that quantity by the payment. So times 357.93. Okay. And that is going to give us our answer. Okay. So let me go ahead and write this down. All right, so this is telling us, okay, that uh, in order to pay off her guzz gas guzzler car, okay, Mackenzie is going to have to pay $7,176, and if we round, we're going to round up, so 30 cents.